try to resist me now, Darren. My name's Janessa Slater, and I'm a media coach who's helped hundreds of fans. This is Sound Advice. So, Carrie, my hair person recognized you because she said you're on a show called Portlandia. Now, did you all meet because you were all in low-budget TV shows that I've never seen? Corinne and I met in college. That's when we started this band. And so, was one of the original members Susan B. Anthony? I think she was um, deceased by then. And that is sad for all women, that she's no longer with us. But we carry her message. Be a girl, get dressed up, look pretty, you know? Guys are running this place, but we can do stuff too. And for every monster truck and every Lamborghini or whatever, there's also a flower shop. At heart, we're all just little riot girls, you know? I feel like your understanding of riot girl is vague at best. And what is it? So it was a movement of activists we did events, played music, made art to talk about violence against women. Um, and how men need to, like, treat women nicely, right? Treat them to dinners, you know? That could be part of it, yeah. I'm gonna get you the lobster dinner and I don't expect anything back, you know? Except maybe a little smooch and an extra long hug. I'm a feminist. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna read some lyrics from the title track of your new album, No Cities to Love, and give you some feedback. Atomic tourist, a life in search of power. I found my test site. I made a ritual of emptiness. I'm sorry. I must have accidentally grabbed the diary of an angsty preteen girl, because there's no way an adult could write this garbage. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you write it when you were smoking behind the shopping center? Did you guys get that assignment for English? They want us to write a three-page paper? about that book, the book sucks. That's you guys. Definitely. So as an all-girl band, how many mysteries have you solved? Any? This seems like a Nancy Drew kind of team. We did actually set up a, a sting at one of our concerts. Really? Oh, that's right. We caught like, a real bad guy, a flasher. Mm -hmm. He flashed Riot Girls. Now, along the same lines, do you feel like if a woman were to flash, like, I don't know, her ex-husband when he's at dinner with his new girlfriend. Like, is that also a crime? It's not, right? I think indecent exposure is a crime. But, like, what if it's, like, not indecent because it's, like, he's seen me that way before? But I think if you're in public, then it's considered indecent. And if it was at his house, then it was harassment. Okay, well, I thought this was Slater Kinney, but it's Judge Judy. If I were you, I'd get out of the court right now. And uh, 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 two months in prison, and you're an idiot. Is that your ex-husband? That's Judge Judy. I mean, one of my favorite bands of all time is an all-girl band. Usually we don't put the modifier in front of the word band. You wouldn't call them like an, a, a, a male, male band. band. Like if you were interviewing you two. Ugh, I wish I was interviewing you two. They're like my favorite man band. I love the Joseph tree. It's the Joshua tree. Josh's Joseph Tree, pretty sure. I just feel like if you want to sell tickets, don't you want to play good music? Play good music that's done by like, you know, hot chicks. And if Susan B. Anthony was here right now, I think she would say, you know, use it or lose it. But she's not. And we miss you, SBA. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, misogynist everywhere. Want to see more episodes of Sound Advice? Subscribe to Above Average. If you do, I'll give you some tips. Dress cool!